I came across a bit of an older clip where a Rebel News journalist or reporter asked Justin Trudeau a question and he has an insane meltdown because he's not an accredited, according to his standard, journalist. And this is the issue here in Canada where Justin Trudeau gets to play little puppet master with all these different massive federal organizations that dictate what credentials need to be required and they can completely just change them whenever he wants if this isn't an issue then i i i don't i don't know what to say to that because it definitely is an issue when the prime minister of canada has that much power welcome back to another video everybody before i switch screens i'd like to encourage you to give a like and subscribe if you're not already we're fighting a lot of suppression here justin trudeau trying to pass us and youtube subscribers and we just can't let him do that all right let's get uh, let's get into the video yes thank you Tamara Yugovini, Rebel News. You have the floor. Hello, thank you, Mr. Trudeau. The only reason that I'm allowed to ask you this question is because today the federal court ruled that the government doesn't have the right to determine who is or is not a journalist. This is the second election in a row that the court has overturned your government. Do you still insist on being able to make that decision and why? First of all, questions around accreditation were handled by the press gallery and the consortium of uh, networks who have uh, strong perspectives on quality journalism and the important information that is shared with Canadians. Uh, the reality is organizations, organizations like yours uh, that continue to spread misinformation and disinformation on the science around vaccines, around how we're gonna actually get through this pandemic and be there for each other and keep our kids safe is part of why we're seeing such um, unfortunate uh, anger and lack of understanding of basic science. And quite frankly, your, I won't call it a media organization, your group of uh, individuals uh, need to take accountability for uh, some of the polarization that we're seeing in this country. And I think Canadians uh, are cluing into the fact that uh, there is a really important decision we take about the kind of country we want to see. And I salute all extraordinary hardworking journalists that put science and facts at the heart of what they do and ask me tough questions every day, uh, but make sure that they are educating and informing Canadians from a broad range of perspectives, which is the last thing that you guys do. Oh, no way. Wow. Who would have thought a prime minister would be so triggered? I wonder how upset he is at all my thumbnails and titles and videos. He must really hate me, which is why, again, I stress the importance of subscribing with post notifications because any second now he's going to just cut off the tops and we're not going to get pushed out anymore and he's going to push himself up and try and make himself king of YouTube here in Canada but I'll pass the question off to you do you think that the Prime Minister of Canada that Justin Trudeau should have the ability to decide what those credentials are like he has a very clear bias on what independent media uh, says or does here right so I think that it's a little inappropriate for him to make those comments and when it says that they're they're uh impacting like what the science is and misleading people is what the science is everything that's been said pretty much by independent media has become true so it's you just gotta wait six months for the science to change i suppose but that's the irony of canada that's the irony of uh this new world that we're in so anyways we've reached the end of the video guys thank you so much for tuning in and watching uh the full thing i'd like to encourage you to give a like and subscribe if you're not already and i'll see you in the next one Thank you so much for watching this video to the very end. If you'd like to support the channel, you can do so by subscribing right there. It's absolutely free. If you'd like to watch another video, you could do so by clicking or tapping right there. And if you'd like to watch House of Commons highlights clips, I have a second channel called House of Canada, and that would be right there. I've made it super easy. And if you'd like to take it a step further, there's a membership program. You can do so by financially contributing. It's up to you. There's a join button down below as well as in the description. There's a link to join the memberships. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video.